Madiba's greatest legacy is that he helped make it possible for young South Africans to achieve their full potential, and his spirit of determination continues to be an inspiration to them. Praveen Reddy has risen from earning a living as a car guard to being a CEO, and the process hasn't been easy. Let's hear the real world story with a fairy tale ending. When dawn breaks over the Indian Ocean, you'll often find Praveen Reddy spending some quiet time by himself, mentally preparing for yet another non stop day of lateral thinking and decision making. It's the centered, self-disciplined approach that has earned him a net worth of some 4 billion rand. And Karusha wanted to find out where his motivation came from. In honor of Nelson Mandela's centenary this year, we are celebrating South Africans who have truly achieved the dream. I'm catching up with Preven Reddy today, who has an amazing story of success, and I can't wait to hear all about it. Ben, how are you? Well, so thank nice you, sir. to see you. Likewise. I can see I'm catching you on your morning walk. Sometimes it's good to do this in the mornings. And I can see why it's so beautiful out here. It's a stunning day and look, there's dolphins out there. Yes, of course, there they are. Now I know that you're a very busy man. Always am. What does that entail? We've got multiple projects running. So today we've got meetings with our team regarding a cryptocurrency exchange that we're developing. And we've got project planning meetings for the next two months that we need to set down today. So maybe we should get going. Great, let's go. The view from Preven's home is as spectacular as his business horizons, but it's not one that he anticipated enjoying. So, Krishna, welcome to my home. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's got a pretty nice view. Wow. Do you ever stand out here and think, this is my life? You know, it's so surreal. You know, a few years ago, I couldn't even fathom being here. It was too far-fetched. And now waking up to this every day, it's a very warming reality. What is the story from where you started to where you are now? My overnight success actually took a decade. I didn't grow up in an environment like this. I didn't go to private schools. As a young boy, I grew up in Chatsworth. Uh, when I finished matric, I actually didn't study because I couldn't afford to go to do the things that I wanted to do in my life. So I started to do a lot of odd jobs from working as a car guard to selling clothing. So from there, I got a job as a waiter and it was while I was working as a waiter that I was actually walking back to take the bus that I noticed that there was a place called the Chili Bar and there was no signage on the place. So I went to speak to the owner and I said, listen, there's no signage. Why didn't I assist you and get something done? So I knew every morning when I walked to come to work, there's a place that did vinyl cut out signage. And I went to speak to this guy and he said, okay, I'll charge you 80 Rand to cut out the signs. And I went and told the owner, I'll charge you 150 Rand. That was the start of the build up to where I am right now. And I started working from my mom's bedroom, you know, because there was a plug point that I could actually plug my computer close enough to a desk. So I started working from there and doing some stuff to internet cafes. And from having just myself and maybe one other person back then in 2006, here we are right now, you know, 2018, with close to 400 people working with me right now and with a team that's based globally. I'm so excited to see it for myself. You're really welcome. Actually, we should get going. Maybe it's time we change and head off to the office and I'll show you some of the cool stuff we're working on. I'd love to. Let's go. I'm so excited to head with Praveen to Khakiso Interactive and see what his business is all about. I'm just waiting here for him to come get me. <laughs> oh my goodness! Today, Praveen can commute in his supercar when the fancy takes him, but things didn't go smoothly when he was growing up in Chatsworth. His father instilled in him the value of honesty, integrity, and hard work. And his passing robbed Preven of a beloved parent and mentor. Although only 11 at the time, Preven collected cardboard boxes to sell to recyclers to help make ends meet. And with no prospects of going to university, he was ready to start work as soon as he finished school. However, it proved impossible to find a job. And with no support system or financial backing, he worked as a car guard to put food on the table. Rather than making him disillusioned, these hardships spurred Preven on to make the most of any employment opportunity until a crushing encounter with an arrogant customer persuaded him to start his own business. This was the seed from which his software development company would grow. 
Sorry for keeping me waiting for so long. Not a problem. So tell me about the different facets of Kahisa Interactive. Um, we specialize in mobile application development, but we've ventured over the past few years into artificial intelligence. You know, I've got various other companies that deal in cryptocurrency, blockchain technology, machine learning, and so forth. So Kakiso is like the brain behind all of the other projects that we actually are busy with at the moment. So what sort of legacy do you want to leave behind within the IT industry? I think one day when the dust settled, I want people to look back and say, this company did groundbreaking stuff globally. But you know what? They were from South Africa and they were from Durban. Now, I know you have a very big heart for giving back. I do try my best to do as much as I can. So one of the things that I earmarked is a soccer club. We've decided to sponsor them some soccer apparel, and I think the kids are going to be quite excited about that. So let's head off to see what we can do to brighten up the day. The young players were practicing when Praveen and Karisha arrived in what was probably the world's fastest delivery vehicle. Hey guys, how are you? Okay. So let's go, guys. Yeah. Being able to play in proper boots boosted the youngsters' ball control and spirits. Vivian, this is such a beautiful sight to see. It's definitely is. What is your definition of success? I would think I'm successful if I've made a difference to humanity. And that's what really counts to me. I value self-worth more than net worth, and I think I'll always be that way. But one day, you know, when all is said and done, and I look back in the direction of my life, I want to look back and be able to say, listen, I was a socially and morally conscious human being, and I've contributed something that made mankind a bit better. What impact has Mandela's life or legacy had on your life? I think the humility part is one of the hugest factors in my life today, and I think that's what I take away from it. World renowned, but still as humble as ever. Thank you so much for spending time with me today, Praveen. It's been such a pleasure and privilege to have small insights into your life. I'm sure you want to get in there and kick a ball around with the kids, so I'm going to leave you to us. Thank you very much for having us on the show. When opportunity knocks, Praveen opens the door, and he's happy to share the keys to self-fulfillment. Mm -hmm.